It's not a joke. It no parent wants to get a phone call like the one Dixon mom Tiana received yeah. from district administrators this week. I'm so sorry to have to call you and tell you this, uh, but there is a picture posted of your son. And I'm like, like what kind of pitch? Like, what is this? Her 12 year old son, Makai, was one of 23 black and biracial John Knight Middle School students featured in a racist Instagram post along with their black principal. It said happy black history month and then a derogatory term. Makai agreed to pose for the picture taken by his white friend, another seventh grader. He said smile for black history month. And this was at school? Mm hmm At lunch. At lunch. Makai feels betrayed by his friend who used his picture in a hateful message. Sad, kind of mad. It was disgusting. It's hurtful. It's, it's sad that this is what my kids are dealing with. I shouldn't have to explain to my son why the color of his skin uh, it has him being treated like lower than a dog's position. Superintendent Brian Dolan updated the community and met with some parents today who say this is not an isolated incident. Cyrus Daniels believes he may be in the post too and says he's bullied every day because of his race. I tell a teacher they don't do anything. I go to the office staff, they don't do anything. I come home, when I go home I tell my parents. Parents say the district can't ignore this extreme example of racism any longer. It's just a matter of when are you going to fix the problem? You know this is a problem. When are you going to fix it? It's just like, is it going to end? Is it going to get better? Are we going to keep sweeping it under the rug? As of today, the 12 year old boy who made the post has not yet been disciplined and he hasn't been back in class. Now, the district says it's still trying to identify other students they believe who are also involved with making that post. The parents and students we spoke with today hope the district takes swift action to send a different message during Black History Month. In Dixon, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. And the superintendent told the parents they shouldn't let the district off the hook in working on solutions. He wants to bring in a diversity expert to help the community deal with this situation. And he may have another update at the next school board meeting, which is coming up February 16th.